What's going on everybody? Today we have some more 2020 Bowman. This is a retail display box. Um, ripped a couple jumbos as you see the boxes in the back. I've ripped lots of blasters, fat packs, value packs, and I picked up three of these retail um, display boxes. I did rip one earlier off camera. Pulled quite a few nice cards out of it and hoping to do it again with this box. So let's go ahead and rip into this. This has 24 packs of 12 cards. Um, and you know what? It was actually not that bad at all. Um, you can get, or at least at my local card shop, I can get two of these for the price of a regular hobby box. Of course, you're not guaranteed the autograph hit. I did get an auto, a paper auto that is, in the first retail box. So let's see if we can get an auto in this one. Go ahead and pull the packs out. Quite a few cards in here. Um, I've also seen a lot of hobby boxes that did not have a whole bunch of color. Um, in the first retail box, it was a colored auto, um, purple auto. Um, got, I think it was another purple and then got a sparkle and got the Dominguez and the Poisson, chrome and paper, all sorts of good stuff out of the first one. So let's just go ahead and start ripping into it. Let you guys see the odds on the back here. If you want to go ahead and pause that or take a screenshot so you could check out the odds here on the retail. And we'll go ahead and get into it. What I've noticed in these packs is that you get a couple chrome and usually an insert or something else going on inside the pack. So not too bad with the 12 cards there. Um, of course, you're going to have the mix of the rookie and the veteran base. So we see here we have a Savale, Dustin May, Trent Grisham. I'll go a little bit quicker through the paper. Bobby Dalebeck, uh, Seth Beer, Lewis Gill. And for our first Bowman Chrome here, we have an Encarnacion. Um, not too bad. And a Jackson Rutledge. So we got a couple. No insert in this first pack. But we did get a couple first Bowman Chromes. We'll go ahead and keep these sorted. And, you know, you tend to get... Uh, there's a lot of good rookies um, to start off the year here in 2020. So there's lots of good rookies in this product. So, of course, you got the rookies of all of your normal guys. Lux and Boba Shed, as you see there on the front. Jordan. And then you got the uh, Robert rookie. And looks like we do have a green... Um, I can't tell if it's a chrome or not. We'll just go ahead and just rip through it and see what it is. So we got a Frankie Lindor, Max Muncy, and for our green, it is a paper, and it is a rookie card of Sheldon. Some people say noisy. Um, MLB The Show says Nuece. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I'm sure you guys will let me know. But there we have a green rookie Numbered 30 out of 99. Not bad at all. We'll set that one there. When we get done with this pack, I'll toss that one in a sleeve real quick. We have a Tristan Lutz. Uh, first paper of Xavier Edwards. We'll keep the first papers off to the side there. We have a Cole Wynn and a Cody Hose. Blake Snell, Scherzer, and Altuve for the veteran base there. Let's go ahead and toss this number card. We'll have to keep track of how many colored cards we get. Um, I've only seen one other person that I found anyway with a quick search on YouTube that has ripped a retail display box. I believe they got two or three colors. Um, I had three colors in my first retail box, so we'll see what we get in this one. But uh, got a decent rookie card there for a color, so that's not too bad. Let's keep ripping, got quite a few packs. Again, 24 in total. Hopefully, we will get some more. A lot of great inserts in the 2020 Bowman, in my opinion. Nice looking cards. I think most people agree. And here we have a Rookie of the Year favorites. One of my favorite inserts in this product. Beautiful looking card. And it's an Adbert Elzele. Decent looking card there for sure. Set our inserts here in the middle. We got a first paper Bowman of Duran and Contillo. And there's a nice Wander Franco. We'll set that off to the side. A lot of good names in this product. And then, of course, we got the Wander Chrome right after. 
So that's not bad at all. And a Grant Little. Not too bad. Bobby Bradley rookie card. Nico Horner. And a Miggy. Decent pack for sure. Keep it going. Have you guys ripped any retail display boxes? Or have you had any luck finding retail? Looks like we have another. It looks like we have a shimmer in this pack, guys. So, all right. The color's doing well right off the bat. I was uh, afraid after the first box being so decent that this one may not be as good. Um, and it still may not be. We still have to get through it. But let's hope that it is. Mazzara, Bogarts. There's a nice Ronald Acuna Jr. Is another Jackson Rutledge. First paper. Bajarski for my Tigers there. First paper. And then we have an Alex Bohm. And then our, let's go ahead and just pull this off the back since it is the veteran base, Rosario, Newman, and there we go. Nice Bo Bichette rookie. Like that one. Put, put some of the bigger rookies over here. We have a Tristan Casas or Casas. And it looks like we have a blue shimmer. It's a Bowman first chrome of Miguel Vargas. So not too bad. Not somebody that I'm really familiar with, but it is a position player. So it's 2017. Uh, free agent. Let me know if this guy's any good. But it is a Dodgers and uh, looks really nice with that blue border. It's a true blue. 89 out of 150. Sharp looking card there for sure. I like the shimmers. The shimmers are nice looking, in my opinion. So hopefully that's not our last colored card, but we'll see. So we got a couple colors, and let's go ahead and keep on ripping. They were right at the right at the top of the box. So let's see what else we can find. Hopefully, uh, can get another, maybe a Bobby Witt. Didn't get a Bobby Witt in the first retail box. Kikuchi, I've found in my experience from what I've ripped, uh, Bobby Witt, you know, if you're talking the Jashan, or excuse me, um, Jason Dominguez, um, and the Poussin and the Bobby Witt, I've pulled the Bobby Witt the fewest times. That one's been the hardest one for me to pull out of all those. Castillo, Alberto, and then here we have the 90s, Bowman Throwback, nice looking cards. Just uh, sorting something off to the side here, guys. We have a Spencer Howard. Nice looking card there. We'll put it in our insert pile. Here we have a Ruben Cardenas. First Bowman paper. Rutherford Devi Garcia. And then we have a Joey Cantillo. First Bowman chrome. And where is my first Bowman chrome pile? There it is. Sorry, I got too many piles going on. And uh, Luis Garcia. There's a nice Lewis Robert rookie card, Austin Nola, and a Logan Allen. All right, not a bad box so far, and we have a lot of packs to go. So, in my opinion, I mean, the jumbos were definitely fun for me. Um, I haven't ripped a standard hobby box. Like I said, I almost picked one up today, but I got two of these for the same price. Um, so, let's see if it... Um, you know, it was worth it or not is basically what I was really curious because retail, in my experience, has been pretty pretty darn good this year. Pretty darn good as far as color and everything goes. There's a Ryan Mountcastle, number 88 out of the Bowman Top 100. There is a Penna, first Bowman paper. Christian Robinson, and this is the gentleman that I got the paper uh, purple autograph out of my first retail box was this guy right here. Um, we got a Travis Swaggerty. Looks like we do have another first Bowman Chrome, Aaron Ashby, and a Forrest Whitley. Kyle Lewis rookie, a Matthew Boyd, and a Jose Barrios to round out that pack. On to the next. And, all right, looks like we have, looks like we got an Atomic in this pack, guys. Let's hope that's, uh, well, no, the Atomic won't have any ink on it in uh, retail. If it's an ink, it's going to be green in retail. So Jesus Lazardo and our Atomic. Oh, look at that. Boba Shet Atomic Bowman Throwback. That is absolutely a beautiful, awesome card. I love these Bowman Throwbacks. And I love Boba Shet Atomic. Oh, man, that's, and it's, and it's actually centered decent. These things are usually pretty bad off center. 
that's an absolutely awesome pull in my opinion um like everything about that one that one's great we're gonna go ahead and throw that one let me throw that in the top loader real quick let's talk about numbered cards guys we're not even halfway through this this is my third numbered card so we're doing pretty darn good that is a killer card right there let's go ahead and set that where can i set that where we can see it um let me move this around there we go he's got a set up right there that's a sweet card all right let's see if we can continue it this has been a pretty good box tristan casas joe adele tim uh, kate there's a nice adley rushman and a libra tour a couple more decent chromes D justin dunn Dylan Cease and a Nolan Arenado. Sweet guys. The only way it's going to get better, I think, is if uh, we pull one of the real big names um, or uh, a nice auto out of here. But definitely happy with this box so far. Been happy with both of the retail display boxes. Really cool. So, Anthony K. There's a Toro rookie, a Savale, a Jordan Roshans, top 100, ranked number 47. Here we got a Gus Varlin, a Glenn Allen Hill Jr., first paper, a couple first papers there, Nick Allen, and then we have a Marquez and a Nick Allen Bowman Chrome Prospects, Lorenzo Kane, Pete Alonzo, and Paul DeJong to round out that pack. Let's keep it going, guys. I picked these up at my local card shop. Love my local card shop. They, they have great prices on their stuff. Um, they Unfortunately, they don't have a an on online store to buy their boxes or anything, but um, it's where I try to, you know, uh, support the local business. I'm real big on supporting the local business. Got to keep these card shops around. Here's an Isaac Paredes, or Paredes um, from Mexico. J.J. Blade. There we go. There's a nice Bobby Witt Jr. paper. I'll throw that one in a penny sleeve. Cabrian Hayes, Josiah Gray, and a Wilfred Astadio. Not too bad. Kevin Biggio, Juan Soto, and Adbert Elzele. All right, let's throw this Bobby Witt. Like I said, I didn't get a Bobby Witt in the first box. Maybe we can get a nice Bobby Witt chrome out of this box. I did pull a killer Bobby Witts um, out of the second jumbo box. I do have that uh, that box break up on the channel if you want to check that out. It's in the jumbo box break number two. Here's a Joey Votto, Starlin Castro, Gliber Torres, and then we have another one of those nice rookie favorites, Nico Horner. Definitely want to try to complete that set. have to check the checklist and see how many are in there. Nolan Jones, Forrest Whitley. Logan Gilbert, and we have a Cardenas, first Bowman Chrome, and an Isaac Paredes, Bowman Chrome, Ison Diaz, AJ Puck, and Bobby Bradley. All right, guys, not sure how many packs we got, but we still got quite a few to go. If you're out there and you like, uh, you know, you can't afford the... Um, really expensive boxes or you just refuse to pay the crazy prices and you can't find any retail um, you know you can look online I think eBay has these boxes um, pretty much after a quick search the lowest price I saw on eBay was about 139 shipped um, and in my opinion what you get out of them it's really not that bad I was able to pick it up cheaper than that locally if you have an LCS maybe check with them see if they can get any of these retail boxes in there is a Bayron Laura. I know a lot of guys are looking for his cards. Lodi Tavares. We've got a Hunter Bishop. That's a nice one. And Ronaldo Hernandez. Nico Horner. We'll go ahead and set the Nico over there with the good rookies. And move on to the next. All right, guys. It's been a fun box. Been a fun box. I've pulled a ton of, or ripped a lot of Bowman. Got lucky with the retail. Picked up a ton of it. I left a ton of it for other people too. I didn't clear them out. <laughs> I know a lot of people get upset about that. I definitely left plenty. 
Um, Ronald Acuna Jr. There's an Aquino. Uh, Razarina. And we've got another Nico Horner, ranked 33. Uh, let's see, Nick Bennett, a couple first Bowman papers, Drew Mendoza, Brian Mata or Meta, Damon Jones, first Bowman Chrome, Kevin Newman, there's a nice Boba Shet. Loving that atomic Boba Shet. Super cool card. Got a nice Jordan, should be a Lux right after. Oh no, I think maybe Lux is before. They're usually right next to each other in the collation. There is a Savale. There's the Gavin Lux. That's weird. They had one in between. It's the first time I've seen that. There's a Yamamoto, Matt Manning, Drew Waters. I believe I yeah, I pulled a Matt Manning auto as well in retail. Eric Pardino. And we have a first Bowman Chrome of Jeremy Penna. And a Glen Allen Hill Jr. Not too bad. Matthew Boyd, Berrios, and Hoskins. Keep it going. Like I said, quite a few packs. And uh, you get 12 cards per pack. Um, honestly, I don't remember right off right off the top maybe the blaster packs you guys will have to let me know down below i forget were there eight, eight cards in the blaster packs i'm not sure if there were 12 or are they the same um i can't remember there's a kellenic man seattle's got a lot of great uh a lot of great talent coming up um it's going to be a heck of a team there's a lot of teams that i feel that way about a lot of teams have some really nice prospects coming it's going to be very exciting to watch once we actually get to watch it here's a nice andrew vaughn and a Ryan Mountcastle. A couple nice cards there. There's Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts, and a George Springer. Honestly, this last couple weeks I've been too busy to really uh, pay attention to the, the news or anything. I haven't really heard anything new about the baseball season coming up. I know that they're arguing over money, and it is what it is. You know, I don't really have an opinion on that one way or another. I just want to see some baseball. There's Jack Flaherty, so I hope they... Get it figured out. Here's a M Miguel Amaya. Dela Cruz, first Bowman paper. Casey Mize, Joey Bart. A couple nice cards there. Here's a nice C.J. Abrams. And a Daz Cameron. Very, very cool. Junior Fernandez, Tony Gonzalez, and Yu Chang. Three pitchers right in a row. All right. Last pack of this stack. We'll get moving over to the other side there. Got a few more over there. Let's see if we can get an auto or another color in here. Not really sure if we will since we did hit the, the two colors in the Atomic so far. Um, Alex Young, Nick Solak. You know what? I'm going to put the Nick Solak over there too. I'm liking Nick Solak. I've been putting his cards aside. We're going to see what he's see what he does. Here's number 18, Alex Kirloff. Tyler Freeman. Brady McConnell, Spencer Howard, O'Neill Cruz, and a first Bowman of Miguel Vargas. Tim Anderson, Whit Merrifield, Yelich, and one of those sensors so you don't steal stuff. Let's go ahead and move the bow back here. A little bit out of the screen. No, that's all right. It's nice Gavin Lux right on top. Yamamoto, Shohei Otani, there's an Adbert Elzele again, insert rookie, Gunnar Henderson, Nick Lodolo, uh, Denneberg, Kellenic, and an Antonio Cabello, or Cabello, Cabello, Reese Hoskins, Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts. All right, a few more to go, guys. We got seven packs to go. Like I said, 24 packs in these boxes. Lots of packs to rip. Uh, Lucas Giolito. Urena. May Mejia. There we go. Nice Gavin Lux throwback. That's a sharp looking card there as well. Really like that one. Um, like Gavin Lux a lot. Christian Javier. Jazz Chisholm. Campuzano. 
And another kind of was Zion O'Chrome and a Luis Garcia, or Luis Garcia, George Springer, Fernandez, and Gonsolin. One thing is you definitely get a lot of the same veteran base. And uh, like I said, good thing the rookie class is nice this year. Makes 20 Bowman a little bit nicer, even though there's not a ton of value to those packs. I feel nice get or those cards, rather. I feel nice getting them with all those nice rookies. There are some value, in my opinion, anyway. But here's a, a Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Flaherty, Alex Young. There we got the talent pipeline of the Rockies. John Diaz paper. Oscar Gonzalez. Taylor Trammell. Brady Singer. And a Hans Kraus. Yu Chang, Anderson, and Whit Merrifield. All right. What do you guys think of this product so far uh, compared to what you've ripped retail-wise or, I mean, I guess even hobby-wise? Uh, like I said, there's hasn't been a ton of color in the hobby boxes, so this is kind of nice that you're getting, um, at least in my two, two boxes that I've opened now, I've gotten multiple nice colored cards. Um, obviously, you're not guaranteed an auto and probably won't get an auto in here, but that's okay. For the price point, like I said, you can buy two of these for one hobby box. Um, Dane Dunning and a Grant Levine. I'd like to see a um, chrome of one of the big names, maybe a Bobby Witt. That would make me pretty happy, but like I said, I did get the Dominguez and the Poisson chromes in the first retail box. Travis Demerit, John Means. Vogelback, Harper, Adams. There's a Shortridge, Nate Pearson, Drew Waters, and an Aramis Aidman, Willie Adames, Chris Bryant, and a Cattell Marte. Three more to go, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Rip, um, checking this box out. I know it's a little bit longer of a video. But I know we've all been pretty excited about the Bowman. I know there's lots of videos out there. But like I said, um, I hadn't really seen very much on this particular type of box. Uh, rookie of the Year favorites, Dustin May. Damon Jones. Andrew Vaughn. Hans Kraus. There we go. We got a, a Spencer Howard and a Seth Beer. And Sean Murphy, Gratterall, and Collins. Down to our last two packs. We'll get uh, some last pack mojo. Something cool here. Brian Reynolds, Willie Calhoun, Zach Allen. There's a nice Casey Mize. I like that one a lot. Ian Anderson, Hunter Green, Zach Thompson. Speaking of Hunter Green, today I, I got... Um, uh, a 2018 Bowman Hobby in the mail that I'll be ripping on the channel here pretty soon as well. Alec Manoa and a Brennan Davis. More John, Seth Brown, Shane Bieber. Last pack. Last pack, guys. Let's see what we get. Overall, can't be mad at the box. Um, decent box for the for the price point compared to the other boxes anyway. Obviously, I feel it's all overpriced. Here's a nice Mike Trout. We'll set that off to the side. Always do. Hunter Greens, number 51. Franklin Perez, Daniel Lynch, Hunter Bishop. Hey, there's a Christian Pash or Pache. And a Riley Green. Couple nice names, but no big first Bowman Chromes in this box, guys. Cody Bellinger, Jeff McNeil, Tatis. But let's go ahead and do a recap of the stuff that I pulled out. So as far as numbered cards go, we got three numbered cards. No autographs. We did get the Bobby Witt paper, guys, which isn't horrible. We have the Miguel Vargas. Let me know on this guy. I'll have to check him out and see what's up with that. Um, Sheldon Noisy or Nuece. However you say it. Uh, there's the couple number cards. And the card of the box, in my opinion, is this Bo Bichette. 103 out of 150, Atomic, Bowman throwback, super, super sweet card, absolutely love it. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for stopping by and checking it out, I really do. Um, I, I enjoy and appreciate the comments when you guys leave them, 
and I'll continue to rip cards and share them, guys. See you on the next one.